everyone, my name's Matty. It's Matty Crayon Time! <laughs> hey everybody, we are at Edinburgh Air Force Base in South Australia. Yeah, this is an air show. At an air show, you can see lots of airplanes. Sometimes we say planes, sometimes we say airplanes, and sometimes we say aircraft. They're all the same. Let's go and look at all of the airplanes. Come on. This is an A400. It has four engines. Can you see the engines? Yeah. There's one engine here, two engines, three engines, and four engines. Each engine has eight propellers. Yeah, eight propellers. They are very big and they turn very fast. This aircraft came from England. All the way from England it flew. It's a big military transport aircraft. Can you see this? Look at this. At the top of the aircraft is a big long stick. It looks like a stick, doesn't it? It's a big long refueling probe yeah a refueling probe yeah this aircraft can be refueled that's a refueling probe this is Chris hi kids hey Chris what do you do I'm a pilot I fly this uh, a400 here and I've flown it all the way from the United Kingdom wow. a long way Chris flies aeroplanes he is a pilot yeah you can fly an aeroplane that's cool and Chris comes from England. Yeah, this is England. Chris, how long did it take to get here? It took us four days. So we flew all the way to Jordan and then from Jordan to Dubai, Dubai to Diego Garcia, which is a very small island in the middle of the Indian Ocean, then to Perth. And then we arrived here last night. Wow, that's a long four way. days of flying. That's a long way. Chris, what is this aeroplane? This is a large cargo transporter. So we fly paratroopers, we fly all sorts of freight around the world. Wow, it's a big cargo transporter. And Chris, where was this aeroplane made? So this was made in Spain and in the UK, in France and in Germany. So all different parts were made and brought together and finally assembled in Spain. And then they brought them all the way to the UK. Wow, that's cool. It was made in many countries and then put together. That's cool. Thanks, Chris. No problem. <laughs> hey, everybody. I found a new friend. This friend is Alex. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, Alex, where are you from? I'm from Alice Springs. Oh, Alex is from Alice Springs. Alice Springs is in the middle of Australia. Yeah. Alex, do you fly aeroplanes? Yes, I do, mate. Yes, I do. Wow, well, Alex is a pilot. He flies aeroplanes. What do you fly? I fly C-152 Aerobat. Wow, he flies a C-152 Aerobat. That's it goes a... upside down. Wow, it goes upside down. It's an aerobatic aeroplane. Aerobatics is where you go up and then down. And turn over and roll. That's aerobatics. Wow, cool. Thanks a lot. No worries, mate. Enjoy. Thank you. Goodbye. See ya. This is another transport aircraft. A transport aircraft carries people, tanks, lots of different things. This one is a Boeing C-17, a Globemaster. It's a C-17. And look, it has four engines too, just like the other one. This one has jet engines though. These are jet engines. Look, one, two, three, four. Four engines, that's right. Let's look. This is the engine of the C-17. It's called a turbofan engine. Why? Why is it called a turbofan engine? Because it has a big turbine in the engine and the turbine turns a fan. Can you see the fan? Look, that is the fan. It has many blades and they turn around. It's a turbofan engine of the C-17. Wow, that's really cool. Look at this. This is the front gear of the aeroplane. The front gear 
of the C17. Look, the front gear has two wheels. One, two, two big wheels. This is the wing of the C17. It's very big and it's very high as well. These here are called ailerons. They make the aircraft roll like this. These are ailerons. This is the main landing gear of the C-17. Yeah, it's the main landing gear. The gear on this aeroplane is very low because the aeroplane can put tanks and trucks into the inside of the aircraft. This is the tail of the C-17. The tail of the C-17. It's very high. It's very high. Yeah, high off the ground. This is the tail. It has a rudder. The rudder makes the plane yaw like this. Yeah, on the top you can see the elevators. Yeah, they are elevators. The elevator makes the plane go up and down. That's the elevator on the C-17. This is another transport aircraft. The name of this transport aircraft is a C-27 Spartan. It's a small to medium transport aircraft. Well, look everybody, this is inside the C-27. Yeah, this is a cargo aircraft and sometimes it transports troops and people and other things. Look, it has seats in the back of the aircraft. The seats are on each side. Yeah, you sit in the back of the transport aircraft. It's a military transport aircraft. We are in the cockpit of the C-27. And look, this is the pilot. Hi. This pilot's name is Josh. Josh, do you fly this aeroplane? Yes, I do. Wow. Can you tell the children about this aeroplane? So this is the C-27J Spartan. It's the newest uh, battlefield airlifter in the Royal Australian Air Force. And we use this aircraft mainly to fly cargo and passengers around Australia and internationally. Wow. How fast can this aeroplane go? Uh, about 650 kilometers an hour. Wow. So pretty quick. 650 kilometers an hour. And how many engines does it have? Uh, we have two engines, but we also have a third one hiding in the wheel well, which is called an auxiliary power unit, oh, cool. or the APU, and that uh, provides power to the aircraft when we're not uh, running the engines. That's it. An APU is called an auxiliary power unit. It's down below. It's a small jet engine? Yes. Yeah, it's like a small jet engine, and it provides electricity for the aeroplane. The engines are turboprops, is that right? Yes. Cool. What, what is a turboprop? So a turboprop is basically a jet engine, but instead of a jet using thrust <laughs> to push the aircraft forward, the thrust is directed onto a turbine wheel, which then drives the propeller to create thrust. Wow, cool. Now, Josh, how long have you been flying? I've been flying in the Air Force for almost five years now. Five so, years in the Air Force. And when did you start flying before the Air Force? Uh, I actually did my first flying lessons when I was about 15 or 16. Wow! When you're 15 or 16, you can have a flying lesson. That's pretty cool. I had my first flying lesson when I was 16 too. So, Josh, can you tell the children about this cockpit? So the cockpit itself, uh, there is a lot of buttons, however we don't use all of them at once. Uh, mainly what you need to know is when you pull back on the stick, the trees get smaller. When you push down on the stick, the trees get bigger. Uh, if you want to go faster, you want to push the throttles up. And if you want to go slower, you bring the throttles back. That's cool. Josh, what do you like about flying? I think the best thing about it is really the view and the diversity of the job. You know, I never know what I'm going to fly each day when I go to work. Wow, that's cool. So, if you want to be a pilot, you can go to your flying school near you and you can fly an aeroplane too. And one day, you can fly a big aeroplane like this. That's cool. Thanks, Josh. Thank you. Cheers. Have a great day. This is an F-18. Look. You can see one coming past now. Oh, look at that. Very slow with the nose very high. A high angle of attack. F-18 is a jet fighter. Oh, it's noisy and it's very fast. Oh, look at this. This is an F-35. F-35. Yeah, it's a new aircraft. It's called a multi-role aircraft. Yeah, this is a new aircraft. 
It's a multi-role fighter. It can fly as high as 50,000 feet and go as fast as 1.6 times the speed of sound. It's very fast. This is the side of the F-35. At the bottom, you can see doors are open. There's doors open on the bottom. Those are the bomb bay doors. That's where they put the bombs and then they drop them. It's the F-35. Hey, look everybody. We are in a helicopter. This is an AW-109. This is Andy. Andy sells this helicopter. Hi Andy. Hi, how are you? Give me five. There you go. Hey Andy, where is this helicopter made? So this helicopter is made in Italy, in a place called Milan. Wow, it's made in Italy. It's made in Milan. Cool. What is the name of this aircraft? So we call this the Trekker. Wow, it's the Trekker. And it's used in a, in a variety of requirements from VIPs to emergency medical supply and support and, uh, and we also are looking to sell it here in Australia for an army requirement. Hey Andy, how many engines does this helicopter have? So this aircraft has two engines. Two engines! Wow, that's cool. The two engines. If one engine stops, the other engine keeps going. So you can still keep flying. Sometimes it has wheels and sometimes it has skids. Right now it has skids. Can you see the skids? Yeah. Thanks Andy. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is the cockpit of the helicopter. Yeah, look at this. This is called the control column. You can make the aircraft go left and right. Look at this. These are the instruments of the helicopter. It's really cool. It's a fast helicopter too. This is the front of the helicopter. It's called the nose. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Nose, nose. It's the nose of the helicopter. Look, it's big and long. And look at this. This is called a pitot tube. A pitot tube. The pitot tube measures airspeed as the aircraft is going through the air. Look at these. These are the blades of the helicopter. These blades, they go around very fast and they make the aircraft go up. That's right. As the go blades go faster, the aircraft goes up. Wow, look at this. This airplane is called a Catalina. Yeah, it's a Catalina. It is very old. It's 75 years old. This airplane was in World War II. It's a flying boat. Yeah, a flying boat. It can land on the water. And guess what? I have a special friend. His name's Gordon. He's the pilot. Hey, Gordon, come here. <laughs> this is Gordon. Hey, kids. Yeah. Hey, Gordon, what do you do? I fly this airplane. Why? Well, he flies the airplane. Do you fix the airplane too? Yes, I fix the airplane too. Oh, he fixes it. Gordon, how long have you been a pilot? Too long. Too long. <laughs> He's been a pilot for a long time. A long time, yeah. Do you like flying? I love it. What is your favorite thing about flying? Just flying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's cool, isn't it? You can fly an aeroplane and you're up in the sky and you can see everything for everywhere. It's cool. Do you like this aeroplane? This is the best airplane on the airfield. Yeah. I love it. What's so good about the Catalina? It's a flying boat. It's a flying boat. Yes. Have you landed this plane on water? Yes, we have. Uh -huh, cool. It makes a big splash and everyone gets wet. That's cool. It makes a big splash when it lands on the water. Yeah. And how many engines does it have? Two. Two engines. Where are they? On the wing. Yeah, the engines are on the wings. These ones are propeller engines and the engine is called a radial engine. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks Gordon. <laughs> Good job. Bye. See ya. This is the P-51. This is the front of the P-51. So this aircraft is very famous and it has a name. Look, you can see the name. Snifter. That's the name of the aircraft. And I have some very special guests. 
some friends of mine and they fly the aeroplane. Come on in. This is Roger Hendry and David Kingshot. David Kingshot. These guys are pilots. They fly the aeroplane. How, how big is the engine? It's uh, 27 litres. Wow, it's a big, it's a, that's half the number of exhaust pipes there. There's another six on the other side and it's yeah. a massive V12 engine. It's a V12. And it sounds gorgeous. You'll hear it in a minute. Yeah, it's a V12 engine. It's called a Merlin engine. So how fast does this aeroplane go? So the aeroplane can fly, uh, it's up to about uh, 780 kilometers an hour. Seven, good guess, wasn't it? 780 <laughs> kilometers an hour. That's very fast. Okay, let's look at the front of the aircraft. What is this? This is the landing gear. So this is your wheel, a bit like on your standard car or bus or anything. But the cool thing with this is the wheel actually disappears into this bay in here. So the wheels go inside the wing, which makes the aircraft faster. This is the propeller. It has four blades. Let's look. They're very big blades. These are called blades, propeller blades. And then the big smiley face in here. Yep. This is, um, uh, this is where all our air goes for the engine. Okay, let's get up into the cockpit and have a look in the cockpit. First, we climb onto the wheel. Ready? One, two, three. There we go. We're on the aeroplane. Let's get into the P-51. This is the cockpit of the P-51. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at this. It's the cockpit of the P-51. It's very tight. Have a look here. Wow, so look at this. This is the control column. When you want to go down, you push it forward. When you want to go up, you pull it back. When you want to go to the left, you push it to the left. When you want to go to the right, you push it to the right. That's really cool. And then down here, I don't know if you can see, these are the rudders. You push the rudders and the back of the, ta of the aeroplane moves. You push the rudders and the back of the aeroplane moves. That keeps it balanced. Wow, and look at all the instruments. Can you tell me, what are these instruments? Well, this one here is the airspeed indicator. Yep. So we take off about 100 knots. These are in nautical miles per hour. And then we climb up, up about 150 knots, and then we cruise along about 220. And we can, if we go into a dive, we can, this is the maximum speed that David mentioned. It's about 438 knots, but you'd only get up to that if you're in a really fast dive. And then here we've got the altitude, and then these are the radio compass, the horizon that we see. This needle and ball helps us keep in uh, balanced flight, which um, you were talking about. And then rate of climb and rate of descent going up and down. And then all these here are just the engine instruments that tell us the power we're producing and the temperature of the oil and the coolant. Wow, that's and, cool. Uh, that's about it. Let's get out of the cockpit. Ready? And now we're on the ground. Wow, the P-51 is going to start. Let's start the engine on the P-51. Airplanes, small airplanes, and we talked to pilots too.